Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago Tech Reviews. This is your boy Quinn Peters. Today we're going to take a look at the different internet service providers. Which one is the best? You may want to switch. Who more reliable? Which one is the fastest? You want to know. I know you want to know. So we're going to look at the different ISPs and which one is the best. Stick around if you want to learn. Let's go. So Trinidad and Tobago, before we enter this video, you need to understand two things. What is single mode fiber and what is multi-mode fiber. Now that is going to be a subcategory that we're going to rate these ISPs on. Single mode fiber is a small narrow fiber from a single light push that eliminates any distortion from overlapping light pulses. So basically what that means is that if you're using single mode fiber because of its small core diameter in terms of the data transmission you have less interference because it's a small core less attenuation attenuation is basically the fluctuation of speeds right you will have less attenuation multi-mode fiber on the other hand is a large it has a large core diameter people so because of the large core diameter you have a tendency of interference and services may be attenuated in most cases using multi-mode fiber is not necessarily a bad thing look flow uses it and still they are one of the most reputable isps in the game right so multi-mode is a, a less cost effective way of having fiber single mode fiber on the other hand is more is really really expensive and really really expensive to maintain the g player uses single mode fiber so in other words single mode fiber is the way to go it really is the way to go it is more future proof and you will have less attenuation in your services so people, now we're going to go into the juicy part of this segment. We're going to show you which ISPs you have to pay installation, which ISPs has the best value for your money. You know, you may want to switch. You may want to start having fiber rather than your copper service that you may be using still. So we're going to go through all of that. First, we're going to start with DigiPlay. DigiPlay currently have a promotion. If you're an existing Postpaid customer, you get 50 to 100% off on the installation. Now, if you are not an existing Postpaid customer, you have to pay $350 for installation, inclusive of all taxes. Flow, on the other hand, you do have to pay for installation. It's $244, inclusive of all taxes. But here's the catch. If you do have an existing landline with flow, the installation is free. Simple as that. Amplia, basically the installation is free, right? They don't, they not only free, but they also do something different from these other ISPs, makes meaning that you don't have to pay a month in advance. You just go to them, follow up the, the legal procedures, right? And they start you off one time, right? Other companies, you may have to pay uh, installation fee and then a, a month in advance they, they just start you off one time it's simple as that so the other part of this criteria you can just watch to my chart on the left right the other category we're going to rate on is who has single mode fiber and who has multi-mode fiber right so as you can see flow is the only company that doesn't use single mode fiber they use multi-mode so what we're going to look at now is a different type of comparison. We're going to look at who has fiber to the home and fiber to the curb. Now Flow uses fiber to the curb. Basically what that means is that they power everyone through a node in your neighborhood. So basically it's not a direct pure fiber line. It may be mixed with exist your existing copper or coaxial right they power everyone through a node in the neighborhood and because you have to power everyone through a node there's a slight chance of fluctuation of speeds 
If you have fiber to the home, it's a direct line from DigiPlay and Amplia DPU straight to your house. So it's, a, it's more of an advanced method, right? And it's more future proof. All right, so the other category we're gonna look at here is the prices, right? We're gonna see which one you get the most value for your money. So you can see here with Flow, you have a package for $234. You get 40 megabytes down and five megabytes up. Now that five megabytes is not really nothing to talk about because if you're looking at gaming, this is not the package for you because when you're actually gaming, you have to look at the upload speeds, people. You really have to look at the upload speeds. Now this package is for mostly people who just like to you know regular uses for about two or three people in your household, this is a perfect package for you. Amplia, on the other hand, you see, you have a package for $200 where you get 25 megabytes down and 15 megabytes up. Now, that is a good speed, but in terms of download, I would say for 200, that is a good price for a download speed. 25 is not bad, 15, you get more than flow. Right, did you play for $299? You get 40 megabytes download, 40 upload. Matter of fact, as you can see on all their packages, their upload speed is equivalent to their download speed, which is nuts. Right, for this $300 here, I think it's a really, really good package, people. Um, 40 download and 40 upload for $300. What you want more than that? blood the other price package we have from 320 to 390 flow have a package for 320 i have 60 download and you get 15 upload now that is i mean for 320 what you think i think the download speed is okay but the 15 i think that that should at least be around 40 or something like that as you see uh amplia here you have 50 download and 25 upload for 390 dollars so digicel before i get into this package you all maybe think i'm sounding biased oh digicel pay he or what kind of thing nobody didn't pay me this is not a sponsored video i'm just going with facts and i'm really blown away by these speeds you get it for the price compared with the others 75 upload 75 download for 350 dollars you could have two playstations in your house running on wireless we're not talking about alien connections people and that won't even split like you and your ex that would keep going that would keep pushing you understand and i think this package is for more heavy content users heavy devices now you may have a CCTV um, set up at home and you may want to stream live to see what is going on with your place. Now, in order for that to take place really smooth, you need a high upload speed. And that is what you have to look at when you're setting up your CCTV footage, your upload speed. So this is a good package for that sole purpose. So this is the last package we're going to go into. So Flow have a package for six hundred dollars. You get three hundred download and thirty upload. I mean, like <laughs> seriously, um, thirty upload and three hundred download. That not even. That make any sense? At least give us like a hundred upload. You're not asking for much, you know, Flow. You're not asking for much. I'm playing for six hundred and fifty dollars. You get two hundred and fifty download and one twenty-five upload. For DigiPlay, you get one hundred upload and one hundred download for the price of four hundred dollars. People, people, that is a wrap. Remember the factors that we took into consideration: fiber to the home or fiber to the curb, multi-mode fiber or single-mode fiber which one has free installation and which one doesn't have free installation and so on so if you find this video informative be sure to like us on facebook youtube and instagram tech reviews tt and train globe media every tuesday we have a brand new episode coming out very exciting 
This time we're gonna show you different ride share companies. We have Travi, you have Caribbean drivers. You know, we're gonna show you which which app is more user friendly, which one is more secure and stuff like that. So it's definitely something you should look into. Stay tuned. And my name is Quinn Peters. God bless.